Michael and myself, we hit the Rose, Rose again. It's a sign, sign from heaven, Rose again. Today, our target is the most stunning castle in Scotland. We are heading there to record the most spectacular footage ever. We also explore a dungeon where they kept more than 100 people. They were living there ankle high in mud and dirt. Many of them died, but can you still feel their souls in there? Come on and join us and experience Scotland with us like nowhere else. And what is the room where I stay with the castle and everything all about? Hello and welcome to a new video with Michael Hi. and myself. And I can't believe, because I can't believe it, we are on the road again, car working again. Tire got replaced and that's just perfect. I'm so happy. You? Happy too. Chuffed, that's what they say in Scotland. And we're heading to the north. First stop, Pitlochry. And after that, we're going to the east coast, to the Dunnotta Castle, Stonehaven. If you can't be in Scotland right now, we will take you with us on our journey to yeah, the best places in Scotland, actually. So, enjoy and we are on the road. 34 minutes to go until we arrive in Pitlock. <laughs> and I just wanted to ask you, Michael, if you know Morrison's, do you know what it is? No. That's my favorite shop in grocery store shop in Scotland because they've got fresh scallops, crab meat, the Green vinegar, salt and vinegar walkers chips, you know them? You tried them before? I tried before, maybe in London. Yeah, and that's my favorite thing to do here, to find the Morrisons. And it's a sign, sign from heaven probably, because there is a Morrisons car just in front of us. As a, a, one follow, a follow me car. Yeah, that's a follow me car. It's a sign, as I said, actually, yeah, for sure. As I just wanted to tell you about Morrisons and what it is, look at this. <laughs> Arrived at Pitlochry, and behind me, I think we parked the car here, is the Barnold Cottage where Gordon Duncan lived. Just behind me on the hill up there. Gordon Duncan was one of the most impressive and innovative pipers in Scotland, but not only in Scotland, worldwide. He basically almost reinvented the Highland bagpipes and could play tunes no one else was able to play. He lived exactly on the other side of the Edradour distillery. Sadly, Gordon left us in December 2005. And there, uh, yeah, the Barnold Cottage again, but opposite the Barnold Cottage there is the Edrador distillery, the smallest, tiniest distillery in Scotland. Unfortunately, it's closed today and the plan was to buy some whiskey for on the road, but not driving and drinking, but just to take some whiskey with us, but no, it's not possible today, closed. But that's the area here in Pitlochry. The Edradour distillery is the smallest in Scotland. Unfortunately, the shop and the visitor center is closed in the off-season. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Michael! <laughs> okay. So, next stop. Unfortunately, the Blair Atoll Castle adventure was quickly over when we ended up at the closed gate. Like the Edradour distillery, the Blair Atoll Castle closed in the off season. So I highly recommend, please check all your spots you wanna go before on the internet if they are open or not. But I have been there many times and it's a beautiful castle, but also the Glenfiddich Piping Solo Championship is held there. It's a beautiful castle. Michael and I hit the road again, and now we are targeting our final destination for today, the Danota Castle. We reach it before sunset. So I'm 
just on my way down there to the down of the castle. It's windy, but perfect conditions. There's orange light behind me, and look at that. Unbelievable, the pressure is on because I have to nail the drone footage, the drone flight. And I hope I can do it because there's only one chance. Sun going down fast, so let's do this. I'm not sure, I hope I could catch the last sun rays from the sun because now it's super dark, it got dark really quickly actually maybe I've got a few seconds with the castle in the sun or in a few sun rays I'm not sure entirely but I hope so I will see the footage later on but I'm quite happy with, with the footage I think it looked good on the control on the screen what I didn't know at this point was that my best and most spectacular recorded drone footage was yet to come. But more on that later. Quite good actually. And now I'm gonna take you to the castle with this view here from the side. And it's breath breathtaking, you can, can't even talk, and unbelievable how this thing looks like and how it stands there. It's crazy, beautiful, really. They really have to take care that you don't fall down the cliff here. It's serious, really. So, Tanota Castle has been great. I hope the footage is gonna be awesome. And now we are here at the harbor. We can see and hear the city over there and the waves crashing. And now we are going to find a pub. And yeah, just for food. And some drinks, some beer. Yeah, two, one or two, six or, or twenty. <laughs> no, not so many. And yeah, but what I wanted to say is my uh, memory card is full on my big camera. That's because I'm on my smartphone now. I hope you can see and hear me well with the video here. Hopefully, the, or I think the quality will not be super good, but should be alright just to say hello and for, an, for a little update. So yeah, I'm gonna show you my exclusive room later on hopefully see each other later in a pub in Stonehaven right next to the sea we had the best fish and chips of our entire Scotland trip so I promised to you to show you my room with a special highlight and look at that <laughs> it's the Damata castle view from my bed <laughs> yeah there is a huge picture of the Damata castle here in my room yeah and it's actually a room recommendation I can recommend it 100% I'm not getting paid not sponsored but look at this that's a room for 50 pounds, something like that, even cheaper. It's the, I'm gonna show everything down there in the video description, but yeah. That's the room, see you tomorrow, because the plan is to oh, wake up tomorrow before sunrise. That's a challenge, after the pub tonight, that's a challenge, but we're gonna do that, I hope we're gonna do that, to see the sunrise over beside, next to the Dunnotter Castle. Stone heaven rules here, okay? So have a good night, me too. See you tomorrow.
I know I look super super tired because it's five o'clock and look different yeah but just wait tired because it's five o'clock in the morning we try to catch the sunrise that should be happening soon and yesterday yes I was like the last unicorn here with the thing so I thought today I'll leave my hair open because if I you know make some man bun or how you call it it looks kind of strange yeah I realized that when I looked through the footage but yeah five o'clock in the morning I would say let's go Michael is hopefully already waiting outside in his car for me to drive over there to Dunnot the castle and yeah catch the sunrise let's go Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Morning. Ausgeschlafen, guck ja. nicht so. <lacht> okay. Geht schon. And here we go again. Look at that crazy colors at the horizon over there. And everything okay, Michael? Yeah, <laughs> I hope that's gonna be epic and I see something like it looks like a planet on the horizon over there I don't know what it is looks like the moon or something never seen something like that Mystery paranormal activities and UFOs here at the down of the castle as well. So let's start a new adventure in the morning and Let's head towards the down of the castle Oh there It was so hard to just choose one clip here because the footage was getting better and better. Look at that clip here and how close I came to the walls of the castle. That was a close call. Is it actually real life or I'm still in the bed sleeping? I mean, look at that, it can't be real. That's out of a movie from another planet, something like that. It's crazy, look at it. And the sun is up now, but now we walk towards the down at the castle because we will go inside. And can you see it over there, getting closer? And Michael just told me because he did a little research on the internet that there were almost 170 people, prisoners, prisoners, yeah, and they really suffered there in some, what was it? Okay, do you think we can find the room where it was? Maybe there are still ghosts around. Yeah, okay, between all those walls over there, I'm excited. Let's go for a ghost hunt. Just before entering the room, the Wix vault 
where they kept the 200 people. And it's a scary room because it says ankle deep in mud. They were kept in here. It's a scary room. And many of them died. And let's see if we can feel some vibes, some appearance, anything. But it's, it's quite different here in the room compared to the other rooms. Let's check it out over there. Yeah, all these bad things happened inside here. So, we are just about to jump in the car again on the road, hitting the road for our road trip to Glencoe. But before, I want to give you a little quick review about the castle here, the Dunnotter Castle, and if it's worth it to come here for you, yes or no. So, what I can say or what we can say is it's definitely worth it. The ticket for adults is £9.50 and it's worth every penny, really, because just a few stunning but also the castle you can check out so many rooms here and yeah it's just an experience that I can recommend for me it's the most impressive castle in Scotland actually just my personal for my personal taste because how it looks here on that cliff here is just awesome unbelievable and what would you say I'm speechless mm -hmm. yeah it's so cool and yeah a little bit spooky a little bit yeah one recommendation in addition is to come here for sunrise yes. mm, because no people here and it, yeah, it will be a lifetime experience i will remember that forever i think six o'clock morning yeah. yeah one of the best sunrises ever for me in my entire life yeah, for me too mm -hmm. so really cool it's worth it come here buy the ticket check it out take some nice pictures and we're gonna hit the road now All right, Klinko. Yeah, let's do that and leave this great castle here, Danota Castle. To finish off that unbelievable experience, I got myself an Angus beef burger at the little food truck at the Danota Castle car park. Also to get some energy for the next adventure. We are heading to Glencoe, the next one and rock the universe. Rock the universe and... Bye.